you got a new mocha or you change your gasket with a new one and you cannot get rid of that rubber taste that you find in your coffee. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. Hi everyone, Matteo here. A few weeks ago, I made a video about my brand new mocha pot from Bialetti. Highlighting the problem of the rubber smell and taste I was getting in my coffee. Even after going through all the procedures that Bialetti suggested in the booklet that I found in the box. So I wanted to find a solution to get rid of this annoying problem. Then, a few days after I published the video, I got inspired by a comment that I found in the section below. So I went to buy a new pack of rubber gaskets from Bialetti and I started to experiment. At first, I boiled the gasket with water for 10 minutes, made a mocha, but the result wasn't 100% satisfying. So I tried to boil it for a few more minutes, but nothing. Still unsatisfied, not yet. Then I remembered about my dear old friend white vinegar, the same I used to deep clean my mocha pot. Vinegar is known for its ability to remove odors and oil, and it's largely used in hospitality to polish glasses and cutlery. Basically, is the perfect product. So I started to play with ratios together with water and also temperatures. And after a few trials of boiling, mixing and soaking, I finally found a way to get rid of that rubber taste that was annoying so much. Take the lower part of your mocha pot and place it on the stove. Pour inside one part water and one part vinegar. Turn on the heat and bring it to boiling point. Immerse the gasket and let it boil for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, turn off the stove and you notice that some of the water evaporated. So top up with more vinegar, turn on again the stove and bring it again to boiling point. Once reached the boiling point, turn off the stove and let the gasket soak for 30 minutes. Remove the gasket, discard the solution in the sink and wash all the parts under water. Dry with a towel, rebuild the mocha and make a coffee. Now. It should taste right. Yep. Now I have a few things to say about this method. Don't use just vinegar if you have an aluminum mocha pot, because the acetic acid can be too strong for the material. That's why you should always dilute it with water. If you have a stainless steel mocha pot, you can go strong with just vinegar. Boiling the gasket in water won't damage it, because the inside of the mocha will never go over 99 degrees Celsius. Also, you can soak the gasket for a longer or even shorter time. That depends on the rubber. I noticed that there are different kinds of rubber gaskets in the market. Some of them have less rubber scent and some more. So get this method as a starting point and then tailor it based on your gasket. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you experienced the same problem and you already fixed it, let me know which one was your method by leaving a comment in the section below. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next videos and in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day and delicious coffee. Ciao!